Hey guys, Fair Strike here with another Project Orc and Goblins 2. It's day 18, Thursday, and I have been busy painting, painting, painting after taking a day off yesterday. I've been doing, using, making use of this number two brush, which is the number two Vallejo brush that I showed you guys yesterday. And it's really useful in painting the eyes and the teeth and the, the bits of the detail bits of the, the guys. So I'm going to show you the eyes of this guy. And I think it's a little too bright, actually, the eyes I put. Um, I put the Evil Sun Scarlet on, on the squig here. The other guys are just corn red. You can see a little bit of the red there on the eyes and I might do a, a little lighter like this but not too light I just want to test it on this guy I also did the, did the eyes of these guys I don't know if you can see that just the the red I added this guy onto the top of my rock lava and uh, he's uh, doing well right there and yeah I just did went over pretty much all my orcs you can see their teeth there and my night goblins the ropes around the spear halves and their teeth also but I didn't get around to doing their eyes for the, the night goblins and everything so that's an overlook I did all these guys and I'm really liking the brush so far So on to the questions. 31 questions for July and we're on 18. Describe your favorite lo local gaming buddy. You know that guy. You know, I don't really go game a lot, as I said in, in a video or two ago. And But there's this one guy that I gamed against and he's, he's a pretty cool guy. He knows, he's pretty knowledgeable in all the rules of Warhammer and other game systems. He plays different games like Hordes and you know he plays he plays different video games and everything and he he's very knowledgeable on the game even though he hasn't played I think Warhammer Fantasy in a while and the last time I seen him he, he didn't really really um, he told me he didn't really play that much but he was playing 40k at the time he has a he was talking about his orcs and how he had a bike squadron and they ripped through anything and he's he talks about plasma guns and everything but this guy his name is go paul yes go and then paul g-o-p-a-u-l and yeah he was just a great guy and i remember when i first went to this gaming club that i played against him my dwarves versus skaven and he was helping me through the game it was a fast game i got tabled like the first turn, his first turn, he he had a uh, Skaven Doom I was a Skaven, I was Dwarves, and he shocked the, shocked the heck out of my, well, killed by shocking my runes, rune smith or rune lord that I was using for my Dwarves. And uh, yeah, he was very supportive in the game and letting me know how it, how it played. And, you know, I knew, I had some background in 7th anyway, so. Yeah, that's my the gaming buddy who's he's he's pretty cool and he seems very friendly and everything to other people. Today's the meat wasn't enough. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, uh, that's the end of my video. My brother just came in to tell me something, but uh, I'll I'll get back. Uh, I'll get back to you guys tomorrow. Number nineteen question looks pretty cool. And uh, I have other tertiary objective videos that I want to post up soon. So I'll show you guys that in another time, in another video. Anyways, peace, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.